Hi, my name is Al Cocky. I'm the creator of the Google Meet Attendance Extension. This video is going to talk about the features and uh, and such of the dialogue that's created when you're when you're using my extension. When you first get started, when you first install the extension, the first time you use it, you'll be greeted with this screen, the Getting Started screen, and uh, it gives you an overview of of the uh, the, the key things, the key features, and the key capabilities and key activities that, you, that you're going to undertake. And so you can navigate between the various pages of this um, tab by clicking on the, the, um, the, the buttons uh, beside the, the tab title. Click the red X to close it. And if you ever want to get this information back again, click the blue question mark and it reappears. Also on the bottom, if you're using the if you've been using the extension for a while and there's an update, well then you'll be greeted with this screen, which tells you something about the changes in the in the latest version. And once again, these little buttons beside the titles will tell you the the um, the history of the uh, the changes, the evolution of the uh, of the um, the features in the uh, in the product and bug fixes and those sorts of things. Once again, click the red X to make it go away. And then last but not least, in terms of the toolbar at the bottom, is the gear icon, which takes you to the settings tab. And these are things that you'll set once and never have to change again, hopefully. Um, I recommend that you have the first one checked so it will automatically remove all of the attendance marks um, from your previous meets. It just means that you don't have to have a uh, clear uh, confirmation dialog as you get started. Uh, the auto saving of the uh, the report files is is a, a useful feature so that you you can't forget to uh, to save them at the at the end of the meeting. This means that as soon as you click the red phone to uh, end your meet, the files will be automatically downloaded to your or saved to your downloads directory. Um, this one's a new one in terms of sorting the names, um, so you can sort by first and last name. Uh, or leave the the names unsorted, and uh, also a new feature in uh, in the the version zero point eight point zero is the ability to create a backup of your of your files, your your class lists and class names and so on. Uh, this bottom feature, this bottom button, should only be selected if you're encountering problems and you want to send additional logging information to me so that we can help track down the issue. There we have the the settings. This button at the top here allows you to enable or disable the uh, the attendance taking capability. So if you're going to a, a PD workshop and you don't want to take attendance or you're going to a staff meeting with an online meet and you don't want to take attendance, just click the, the toggle and when it's white that means that it's not uh, enabled and you won't have to, it won't be taking attendance during the, uh, the session. Um, by default it will automatically turn on every time you, you launch. So that you you won't have to uh, uh, you won't have to worry about forgetting to uh, to monitor during your uh, during your classes. This drop down menu in the top left corner of the dialog is one that I'm going to talk about in a separate video. But this is where we can create class names and the the lists associated with those class names. I'll talk about that in a lot more detail in another video. Last but not least, the video starts in the top, or sorry, the dialogue starts in the top left corner of the screen, but you can drag it to any location that you want. And I think that's about it for the um, this particular video. Like I said, I will be talking about how you create your class lists in uh, in a video, and I uh, encourage you to take a look at that and provide all sorts of feedback. Get back to me as uh, if you have questions or uh, concerns, and uh, we'll see what we can do to resolve those. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon.